阿弥陀佛，阿陀，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛。Today we'll begin a second reading of this、uh, legend, legend, a, a, a proper chronicle of Mr. Yu who met the kitchen god. Before that,、um, last time we talked about the whole book in a very short two session,、uh, which is two formats.、Uh, about what is it about?、Uh, why Mr. Yu has this con-、uh, special encounters with a kitchen god,、uh, and what? Happens when he encounters the kitchen god. What change? So, what circumstance that brings him to this encounter, and what happens after the encounter? Basically, that's a summary of the whole、uh, thing. But it's a very short piece compared to Liao Fan. But after we learn Liao Fan many、uh, quite a few times, reading Yu Jin Yi Gong would feel like it's a executive summary of what Liao Fan is trying to say. Basically, what happens to Liao Fan is quite、uh, mal. Compared to what happened to Mister Yu,、uh, what Mister Yu has encountered is a heavy. It's more chronic, and that's why the encounter with the kitchen god is much more meaningful. It creates the sort of、um, effect that you can see starkly different what was him before and what was him after. We'll do that again because one reading is never enough. You always need to. Um, use this in our life.、Uh, we might not have everything he encountered, but we also have. But we do have what habits he has, what kind of thought he has, and that warrants a lot of、um, reflection because it's harder. It's very hard to, for us to look into ourselves twenty four seven. So it's good to borrow someone else's case to reflect back. They are our mirrors, and、uh, to what degree do we reflect is depending on you. Uh, not anyone else. It's your willingness. To, how how willing? How far are you willing to go? And the far further you go, the better you are.、Uh, the more open up you are. Of course, the journey will be painful, as you can see in the book. But、um, after the、um, rain and storm comes beautiful blossoms and the spring. 不经一番寒彻骨眼的梅花扑鼻香 So, Mr. Yu, who met the kitchen god. So let's read at the title, Mr. Yu.、Uh, that's his family name. We don't have to talk much about that. Jin Yi. The actual name is、uh, Mr. Yu. Jin Yi in Chinese. Jin Yi is the given name. Was put after the uh, uh, family name. So in English way is Jin Yi Yu. So Mr.、Uh, Jin Yi. Jin Yi is his、um, aspiration, aspirant title. What he wants to be. Uh, I have introduced、uh, briefly about what Chinese did, ancient Chinese up to the Qing Dynasty, or earlier earlier nationalist era. They still have that, where they give themselves three names. First one is not given by them. I mean, it's not、uh, made by them. It's family, parents give it to them. Birth name. Second is the、uh, nickname. Third one is the aspirant name, Zi Hao. Something like that.、Um, the first birth name is obvious. We all have our birth name, and the second one is the nickname. Maybe someone call you Ah 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 something Ah Lun or something. The third one is、uh, a title. And if you do bake, if you get like like Mas Ah、uh, Liao Fan has Xue Hai, he started with Xue Hai and then he changed to Liao Fan. I think I think it's him. Yeah. Uh, so he, Mr. Liao Fan, Liao Fan is also his title, his aspirant title. People call him Liao Fan.、Uh, the only person who call him the nickname,、uh, the the actual name, is two person, parents and、uh, teachers. That's it. 
even emperors, which is the boss in our modern sense, cannot call him his birth name unless he's going to get executed. That means he has this pled guilty. So back to the point is, why is he calling himself Jin Yi? In English, it means pure mind. Mr. Yu, pure mind. In Chinese, when we read this, immediately we understand the meaning because this is how Chinese work. Yu Jin Yi. Yu of the pure mind. So there's a person named Yu of the pure mind. Gong is a title. Gong, we can use it in the royal way or we can use it in a way to address someone very respectful. In English, we just call them Mr. But um, in old English, like England, not that they might have Sir. So maybe we can possibly drag this relation together as in Sir Yu, who, are, who have the pure mind. Sir Yu of the pure mind. And then the, after that, Yu Zhao Shen Ji, who met the kitchen god. It sounds like a storybook for a fable tale, but it's not. It's a tale. Well, it can be. Why not? But it, it is not fable. It is real. And people might say there's no God or something, but I'm not. We can use the word God interchangeably. So let's talk about what is Kitchen God first. Well, Kitchen God is a Chinese culture. Uh, it's very important to Chinese culture. They rep represents a um, entity or a symbol that put, um, that protects a deity that protects the um, peace and calm of a family. That's why uh, there's a lot of uh, practice of gong zhao shen in uh, very big like offering to the zhao shen to the kitchen god in every uh, events uh, festivals. I still recall my own grandmother, uh, my mom, has always have that little um, altar at that corner of the kitchen where she um, offering incense and uh, following what our ancestors have been doing for thousands of years. Every time they have events, uh, offering incense, some fruits and vegetables to them. Don't offer, uh, don't offer me vegetable. So, but the actual purpose of Zhao Shen, because after this, we're going to learn about Tai Shan Gang Pian. So this is a beautiful progression. Or we're just going to follow Master Wu Xing's suggestion. Um, this this Tai Shan Gang Pian, the, the treatise on response and retribution, cause and effect. It talks even more about this gods and how they, what's their job in, you know, like policing mankind's deeds, good and bad, in, in terms of spiritual book, like recording your merits and faults, basically, uh, and, uh, and releasing punishment or, or, or rewards. But the essence is cause and effect. Um, and Kishun God, so one of the, think of it as one of the um, auditors, is auditing your own account of good and bad, merit and fault. Uh, so he's one of the auditors that are quite intimate because they, it's he's taking care of each family. Obviously, there are many Egyptian gods and they all their job is to look at each family's plus and minus, each individual's. In this backdrop, it's very common for people to pray to the kitchen god. And Mr. Yu is one of the Chinese people who well, one of the many, many Chinese people who follow the traditions and pray to the kitchen god every time they have trouble. So that's it for the title. Um, so it starts with era. In Ming Dynasty of the Emperor Jia Jing. So Jia Jing is a... Uh, it's quite far, actually. He, he He's... Um, I think he's in the mid to the end, so it's about 1500s, near the end, near the 1600 before the Qing Dynasty people come in, it's 1500-ish. Because remember, Ming was founded in 1300 after the Mongolian defeat. So 1300 to 1600, 1600 to 1919, the establishment of nationalist China. So this is about 1500. So it's historical, guys. It's not some fable tales. The reason why I've been very detailed on this is because it's historical. In this Ming Dynasty of Jia Jin, um, in China back then, Jiangxi. Jiangxi is a province. Yu Gong, that's him, Mr. Yu. He's already respected before he met the Kishin People call him Yu Gong. 
you don't call people like normally gong or something until you have some sort of contribution to the society. Uh, so we call Master Qing Kong sometimes there's a title Jing Gong Zhang Ren, Jing Gong, uh, uh, Sir Jing in a sense. Uh, obviously, it's quite archaic in our modern sense, Mister Mister Jing or Master Jing, Master Master Jing Kong. Um, Zi, there we go, Zi Liang Chen. So this this um, Liang Chen is actually his Ming Zi Ma, Xing Ming Zi Ma. Sing uh, me. All right, I'm gonna research more on that. But the point is, his his birth name might be Liang Chen. So he's Yu Liang Chen. Actual name is Yu Liang Chen. Uh, he has he has a lot of talent. He's very smart. He is um multi uh, he's multi multi talented. Uh, he's well versed in that, many things. Uh, at the age of eighteen, so that's to reflect his talent. Why is he talent? How how do we see? At the age of eighteen, he get into the I think it's a preliminary examination for the imperial court. Basically, he seems like he's set to a life of prosperous and uh, glamour or uh, of 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 the um, high imperial court officials because at the yet such young age he already got into that preliminary examination. At each exam he took his high mark, top marks, so top A students. At the um, his youth. Uh, his, 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 when he was uh, very um, strong and young, uh, he always accepts students. So when he grown up to be a young adult, uh, he accepts a lot of students because he's well learned um, and also has a colleagues, uh, his colleagues, uh, fellow scholars, about 10 people to form a Wenchang society. Uh, these societies go, like our youth group goes to propagate. Pure Buddhism to bring youth together, right? To uh, discuss about problems using Buddhism, morality, virtues, or just talk about things, a place to. Then they form this society uh, to promote Si uh, Zi, like the direct translation would be to appreciate the papers, word, words. Back then, paper was not easy. Si uh, Zi is an is a important thing, like uh, take care of your. Um, uh, paper supplies, stationary supplies, uh, function, function, uh, let go of like uh, releasing the captive animals into the wild, um, and then the five precepts, killing, uh, promoting five precepts, no killing, no uh, sexual misconduct or lying. So he's been doing that for many years. However, the cost seems good, right? But the effect is he's failed seven exams afterwards that exams would put him to another rank where he actually got the actual you know salary in the form of rice bag of rice or food from the government he didn't um he didn't make it he didn't make it Liao Fan make it Liao Fan make it before he um, changed his destiny his original destiny he has that but he only stuck at the small county provincial. He didn't even make it at all. So you can understand in comparison to this. And he has uh, given birth to five children during this time. He has a wife and give birth to five children. Five sons, specific. Five sons. Among the five sons, four of them passed away. That's terrible. And his third son is the only surviving son that they gave birth to. And this third son that survived is very smart, just like his father when he was young. And his uh, left leg has a mark of birth. A zi. I don't know in English how to say, but it's like a dot, a, a birthmark, call it that way. The parent, obviously, it's a sign of fortune or something. I, I don't know, but the um, husband and wife, you know, being the only son, they really, really cherish this pearl. Zhang Shang Ming Jun Piao, their pearl. Their baby. So, it, however, at the age of eight, their baby play around in the forest. Maybe there's a small hill behind their house. And they lost their son since then. So, I don't know. He played the play and then he just disappeared. So, they do not know where he is. Uh, he has four, he has four uh, daughters. Later, he has four daughters. His wife and other four daughters. 
However, same thing as their elder brothers, these four daughters, only three dies. I mean, only one survived. So, same thing. They only have one left on each gender of their, of their descendants. So, they only have one daughter now next to them. And obviously, as a mother, it's such, such a hard thing to, to bear. And his wife has cried until she's blind. Both eyes. Because they always cry and, I don't know, and tear down and all that. They, they will block your eyes or something. And now, on top of this terrible news, family tragedy, they, uh, Mr. Yu has fallen in poverty, has been impoverished. So he looks like he's going to have a nice, prosperous path at the age of 18. But now at this um, 30-ish, 40-ish age, he's impoverished. Even though he seems like he's doing a lot of good things. Um, and then, yes, that's what I'm saying. The, 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 afterwards, he says, uh, I've been trapped, losing my children, uh, being uh, no hope in my imperial official career path. Uh, I've done nothing wrong. or I didn't do big um, transgression. I didn't do, commit any big transgressions. That means any big faults. Dago. See, it's just a slang of this Chinese word. This means, I have no done any big, you know, I didn't commit any uh, big sins. Why am I being punished? God, something like that. <coughs> Why am I punished? At the age of 40, every uh, end of the year, La Yu, I think, May Sui La Yu, Zhong, I think every, um, every month for something. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm not so sure about Chinese calendar. Every month end, he will write a yellow piece of um, on on a yellow piece of paper uh, to report to the higher ups, which is in heavens. Uh, Yu Wang Da Di, we call it the Jade Emperor in Chinese culture. Uh, apparently, it's uh, similar to Di Si Tian in the Buddhist, which is the uh, Tri Tri Sam Daka Heaven, one of the desire realm. Anyway. So he wrote to the heavens, that's the point. Pray to one especially, pray to the kitchen god uh, to submit to the emperor, the heavenly emperor. And he prayed to the kitchen god, like, this is what happened to me, please help me. No response for many years. At the age of 40, he started doing that, remember that. After seven years, at the age of 47, in a chi in the New Year's Eve, CNY Eve, before the CNY, uh, with his own moves. So you, now you can visualize a scene where he sits on a chair next to his wife and then there's only one daughter with them at a CNY, you reunion dinner. Uh, you can even think about the wind blows through. Very sad. Uh, this whole scenery is just one word, miserable. Suddenly he heard a noise. And then... Uh, Mr. Yu has, uh, you know, he, he doesn't have a switch light, so use the candle. Uh, and then he say, uh, there's a person who looks really celestial, came in from like the celestial realm, like Xian Ren, very celestial. Uh, the, you know, the typical trope, the long beard, um, uh, long hair and all white beard, everything white and very, very elegant. Uh, obviously, it demands respect. It, naturally invokes respect that's his merit so Chang Yi Jiu Zhuo so you know he give a very respectful um, bow with this Chang Yi uh, this is a Chinese uh, custom unfortunately we didn't pre preserve that as better as good as the Japanese did and then he invited him to sit down uh, called Mr. Zhang uh, he, uh, he, he introduced himself I am Mr. Zhang um, uh, I've been coming from afar. I've heard that you have many troubles needs solving. So I come here to console you, to give you some advice. Uh, he just said, I come here to console. Uh, and then, obviously, seeing someone so otherworldly, Mr. Yu obviously you know, give another round of respect about something. And then he said that, um, I've been learning. I'm a learned man. I learned the Confucius scholars. You know, I, I learned all this um, good teachings. 
way above the level we are doing this way on as a lamp hand. He knows. Obviously, he knows. People uh, every day back then, this way was Lao Fa already mentioned. Mr. Master Ching Kong already mentioned. This way, the guideline of being a good person is already practiced when you were born. So these are already there. And they are learning like something higher, like Da Xue, Zidao, Zai Yu Ming Ming, Zai Yu Zi Ming, Zai Yu Zi Yu Zi San, all the mansions and all that stuff. She's learned. I've been collecting merits. However, my fame or my time is not here yet. Why do I not have to end my career progress? Gong Ming Bu Sui. I didn't receive any good rewards. Uh, my life is like that, miserable. Look at my wife, she's blind. My children, uh, out of seven, two survived. And the only one son that we have that can carry our name is gone as well. And I only have one daughter and one wife who is uh, very sad until she's blind. And I have financial issues, can't even have a proper three meals per day. Clothings are worn out and can't even buy threads to fix it. Something like that. Qie Yi Li Fen Zhao Su And so I have been burning uh, this um, report paper to the heaven, to send to the heaven. This is how they send to the heaven. So I would like to read for you, Mr. Zhang. Mr. Zhang said, no, no, no. I already know everything. All the contents. I've been knowing your stuff for a long time, Mr. Yu. And then he immediately, he didn't even, he didn't even, oh, well, this is how Mr. Yu wrote. Um, he follows that with, I know your thought is too bad, too evil. Uh, you have such a heavy presence of an unwholesome thought in your mind. Uh, why? What kind of unwholesome thought? What kind of evil thoughts? First, superficial, being fake, basically. All you do is for name. Just for on the surface, trying to Biaomian Kung Fu lah. Uh, it's something we when we read this, we don't just say, ah, Mister Yu, something. No, he's already changing. Possibly even go to Pure Land, guys. Um, he's leaving this trace for us to think. Have I done the same thing as he is? Remember that. Um, Man Zi Yuan Yu, the whole the whole report that you written that we read, it's a lot of um, grudge. A lot of uh, unfair. This is unfair. I'm a good man. I'm a good citizen. Why am I like this? So there's a lot of um, humiliating. It's very humiliating to the heavens, especially to the heavenly emperor. So I think that your punishment not stop here. So that's it. That's his reply. I know what you've been saying, and it immediately points out the worst part of it. You are superficial. You go for the name rather than actually want to do good. And in the paper that you wrote to the heavens, it's all grudge, complaints, complaints, complaints. Uh, not no sense of reflect, reflection or anything. Basically, that's what he meant. So, Mister Mister Yu has been shocked. Uh, we would be shocked too. If someone with that celestial look sit down and point out your problem straight away. Uh, and you he heard uh, in the. Uh, and then he he brings out his own set of understanding on this cause and effect. I heard in the um, you know in this spiritual world, in this world of uh, spiritual world, that everyone will every uh, mortal's act of good, small deeds, no matter how small, will be recorded for reward. Uh, so I've been doing good deeds because of that. I've been following all the teachings because of that. Uh, the sage teachings for many many times for many many years how is it fake how is it superficial apologies mr Zhang say let me bring you an example shall we like jin like you like your own founding principles of this one chan society for for your uh, information one chan is a god of examination so anyone wants to pass their PhD, uh, they pray to God of Wen Chang for luck. Obviously, as a Buddhist, we don't do that. We just just have a purity of heart and do what we need to do. So the point is, um, I'm talking about uh, back to the point. 
啊，君之生土，与之交杯。So basically, you've been founding this Guangchang society. You have said a lot of these rules. One of the rules is seeds. Seeds. I still not understanding what it means until I read this. So he said that you and your colleagues, your friends, <laughs> uh, have been using a lot of these books, papers, you know, all these publishing materials. Um, 多用书文旧刊 all these uh 旧册 all these old books that are out of use. Ah, 无窗果物 use these papers from the book to wrap around the windows. So instead of following what you preach, saying that take care of the paper, reuse it, maybe you write something that benefits the society. He use all this old paper that can still be reused as the um ah.、Uh, I don't know. Back then, they have no glass, so they use it as a window, 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 window shield.、Um, and then you even use some of these papers to wipe the tables. Even though you can use the cloth, you use paper to wipe the table, like a tissue. So this is fake. This is fake. So and then after you've done that, and say, oh, please,、uh, we should not taint.、Uh, so we should not keep this a、uh, a、uh, paper bag because it's. It's gonna taint because back then people look at the paper, they think of learn scholar. It's a very important thing.、Uh, people people were well learned, were scholar, well respected, more respected than say the big mall,、um, a big、uh, commercial leader or something. Because you can earn money, but you have no、uh, well learned moral and something like that. Then. Uh, you're not as respected, so that's how the society back then was. So paper represents that level of people who has learned the sages' teaching and helped benefit the society and the countries. So right now he said that we should not taint this paper. He has already tainted it with this,、uh, you know, wiping the table and let's burn it away. You know, like in the Buddhist tradition, we also you know all these sutras they are out of repair or something. We either Bury under the ground、uh, and then pray, or we—I don't know—we burn it away. I forgot. I have been seeing what you do every day. So what's the point? Like you say, appreciate the paper, and then you burn all this paper away after you use it for some、uh, wrong purpose. You should use it to republish new books or re. Back then, there's no printing, so you should use it to re. Copy the sutras or. You know, write down the sage books, make it easily accessible to even more people. That's the point, isn't it? But you didn't do it. Instead, you burn them all away because you use it for wiping a table. Next, he brings out sec- one by one in front of him, just like in the court. Defendant and the prosecutor. Defendant keeps saying, "I'm pled not guilty." Sure, you can, but when you have evidence in front of you, one by one, what can you do? So he's doing the same thing. It's 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 all like that, guys.、Okay? Um, it's always evidence. Every year, every month, you release the captive animal.、Uh, Mister, you have been follow the group. You know, follow the entourage of releasing the captive lion. So, because people do it, you do it. If people didn't do it, you don't do it. So you are not really compassionate. You don't do it out of your compassion. You do it just to tag along with people, just to be. No,、uh, just to have that name. Oh, I'm compassion because I joined this group.、Uh, but in your mind, there's no sense of compassion. There's no sense of really want to save the beings. None. Yeah, being Wei Dong Yu Zhong Yan is not invoke at all. The compassion heart is there, but it's not invoke. So, even ironic is your house has a lot of crabs. Back then, there's no fridge, guys. Remember, there's no fridge. You don't just put it in frozen. So think about it. These crabs must be alive. How do they eat it? Just like lobster, they boil it alive. Something. No karma, guys. Karma. So, Mister, look at the crabs at your house.、Uh, they, none of them safe are safe from your kitchen. None of them. They are. They all decimated at your kitchen and your stomach. But how is this? How is this not life too? You're promoting releasing life, and now you're eating life. Let's talk about the koko, the、um, transgression from the mouth, speech transgression. First, you have ways with words. You're eloquent speaker, Mister. 
uh, your word has the ability to you have ability to debate and win over others and thus when you say something even though you know it's not right it hurts uh, it might you know, pierce too hard on their weak spot or um, exposing them too much or something not being um, considerate basically not, not considerate enough not kind enough uh, not well, not good for you. So, in mo- among your friends, you just talk, 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 and then you bring up those kind of conversation that hurts people. Uh, you follow this conversation and uh, bring in all these sarcastic remarks uh, that actually hurts people, uh, and you can't stop too. You have no sense of restraint. You can't stop. You keep talking. Uh, remember, every time you speak, and the words, the implication of your words will invoke angers. All the words that you say, or this implication of the word you say, invokes angers from the heaven, from the ghost and 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 and, and the uh, ghost and the gods. And um, this has been recorded instead of what you say, the kindness. All these small bad things were recorded. I don't know how many, there's so much of that uh, transgression of speech that you have done, recorded in the book of marriage and folks. Uh, so now you tell me you are being a very kind and considerate person You're using this name despite what you did who are you lying? are you lying to the gods? are you lying to the heavens? guys we can also read these gods and heavens as in cause and effect as in our um, conscience our Buddha nature but there's also a need to understand these kind of beings, they are not fables. And why? Because there's so much. Well, I'm just going to dive a little bit first to get this straight. This is not just simply some external force forcing you on that. Those are all follow the law of cause and effect. The way of the heaven, the will of the heaven, however we call it, is the law of cause and effect. Law and cause and effect reign supreme above all this. Those people have to follow a certain law, just like our country, follow constitutions. Law of cause and effect is the ultimate constitution of all beings. Even Buddha, who is fully awakened, when they appear in our, in our world, they will follow this law and cause and effect to appear in our world. They don't just suddenly sit there and live for 20,000 years, even though average human life is 200, uh, 100. They will say, nope, I will cut down a little bit. Uh, so I will be 80 years old like normal people even though he can go forever. There's no point. So this law is important, guys. You need to learn to by heart. That's the reason why Master Wu Xing wanted us to learn this. It's, all this is talking about just two words, yin guo. And understanding law and cause and effect, we're understanding how we get out of our situation or how we settle down our storm inside our heart. Well, I'm saying a very poetic way. Settle down our desires in our heart. Uh, and make it uh, more moderated so that we can go towards the path we want. Hopefully, it's the pure land, guys. Hopefully, it's the pure land. So, back to the point. Also, the science and all that part is we talk about di- multi dimensional beings. Uh, I'm bringing it out there to, to everyone, not just um, uh, friends and family at the presence, but talking about the, 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 the wider communities. We can treat this as like a different dimension beings. There are many dimensions of things we can't see, and there are many existences we can't see. Such a huge universe cannot be just ourselves. We must correct our erroneous thought in this era, that we thought we are alone, we thought we are the smartest, we thought we have this so-called technology tools, we can win over everything. No, law of cause and effect is the only thing that we follow. And then whatever we do must follow that law of cause and effect. Only then we will stop calamities from happening. When you create something, when you invite and invent something, you think about cause and effect. Does this affect people long-term, good or bad? So always remember that. No, no, no matter who you are, what you are, what position you are, where you are. No one escapes from that. So back to this. Um, after the transgression of speech, now we talk about transgression of sexual misconduct. So basically the five precepts is going through that one by one. Okay? So first one is his thought. This one is his speech. 
And uh, so this one is act. Although this act is not complete, so he did not actually commit sexual misconduct. There's no actual deeds that you did, but you have thought already there. You have every time you saw pretty woman, you can apply to the pretty man. So this is applied to two genders. Um, every time you look at it, your heart is swayed and you cannot, how to say, control yourself. So your heart moves with them. Uh, it, it, it's, it's hard to, to, to take yourself back to the reality, uh, back to the moderation part. Um, just because there is no chance for you to commit this. That's it. If there is a chance for you to commit this sexual misconduct, you wouldn't. Uh, so think about yourself and in the situation of another person with a surname Lou. Uh, this Mr. Lou has the ability to make himself um, restrain. He has a strong self-restraint. Uh, he doesn't have, uh, how to say, a thought of uh, lust in his mind. He does not give in to the thought of lust. So he has the ability to keep his mind perfectly balanced, poised, not uh, influenced by the outside phenomena, especially pretty uh, pretty face and all that. So he's not driven by lust. And this kind of person can directly look at the heaven, can directly face the heaven and earth, gods and gods and ghosts, just just the way it directly face everything without fear. This person has true courage. So this is um, sorry, this is the conduct that you should strive to be. So you are the person um, who swore to follow these teachings, yet you have commit transgression you, by not following it, not following what you preach, let alone other stuff. So before I continue, I have learned from one discussion. Uh, one of the discussion is talking about we talk about Taishan Gaim Pen, which we're going to learn, right? And in that, um, the the treaties on response and retributions, they talk about one thing. There's a person giving a remark. What is evil? What is bad? I mean, what is unwholesome? Uh, it doesn't mean you have to do all these bad, big bad things that being a criminal means bad. What does it mean? Like, what defines bad? And then he just point out something that goes straight to all of us. 知道不行道,说到不行道就是恶. You talk about the morality and stuff, but you never actually practice it. That's bad. Uh, so it's already pointed to me. So, so um, yeah, so that's why, that's why when we look at Leo Fan, um, we think about this good and bad. Uh, before we bear, we, uh, before we marry, we have to reform. So what, how do we reform? So like we talk about all these virtues and all that, but we actually never really think about what we talk. Think about uh, okay. So now have I practiced how much? Uh, how far is it from reality? From what I talk about. So obviously, right now we are talking about this to reflect, to share our thoughts. Hopefully, I have time for us to share our thoughts on, on, on self-reflection, on, on the books and what it brings out on us. That's the purpose of discussion. Uh, we should continue this. The thing is that afterwards, um, in our own time, we need to have like, commitment to actually do it. All right. you, once you do that, then the experience will upgrade. And then when the thing you say will be better. That's the purpose of this speech. Uh, it's not to tell you don't say anything. Just suck in the corner, no, but um, bring it to the action and see how you would bring it in your own life, however realistic it is, right? Um, make it re a real reality for you. So basically, that's um, that's that's the uh, summary of his uh, deeds. So I've been talking a long time uh, just to give yourself a more um, understanding of the um, background. Uh, I would. I'd uh, like to open up this to discussion like after um, let's finish the last sentence first so after he said all this evidence in front of Mr. Yu um, this kitchen god say that you've been burning all these um, papers uh, and you report to the heavens 
and heaven has bring people to audit your action. None of all these years, you can't even get one point of merit. We can't even record one point of merit to you. Okay, so that's the conclusion of today's summary. Um, so before we um, like open up discussion, let's think about um, why are we learning? Mr. Yu met the kitchen god. Why are we learning this book after the Liao Fan? Right? Uh, what? Why are we learning this book? And what can this book bring to my life uh, in the most practical sense? Like what, what kind of real benefit can this book bring to my real life in the most practical sense? So these two questions. Shall we just take like 30 seconds to think about it? Uh, please uh, feel free to bring up different topics, but please focus on like topic based. So these are two questions. Why are we learning this book uh, in context of what we learned from Del Fun? And the second thing is what can this book actually bring to my life in the most practical way? Like, why is the most uh, benefit that can this book bring to my life? What can I learn from it? So 30 seconds starts now. Okay, guys. Anyone wants to start first? Doesn't have to be this topic, but just something to start with. Mr. Yu, I think he's very compassionate to leave his book of his uh, journey at all. His men, like their fun, is always a tradition. He left something behind for his children. Mm. But in unknowingly, he also caused um, a huge, uh, how to say, he gave us a path. To, to follow on an every example and this time instead of bringing other examples he uses his own example throughout the whole book like his use on life as a full um, bi an autobiography in a sense but in a way that someone changing his life so this is why Mr. Yu's um, book are short but it's very um, concise it brings out all the important points because this is what he's mm. been through. Instead of hearing from some chronicles, he actually talking about himself, how he did, what he did, what he, who he encountered, mm. and then how he get out of it eventually. And mm. and, and and this is much more, um, like you say, it's able to touch more people in the world when you have mm. been through that and you say that. So mm. uh, I think, yeah, it's, it's a good thing that we have this second reading. Um, I think more reading won't hurt. Uh, we can bring in even more like real life examples in reflection of what uh, Mr. Yu. But I think most important is we use this on ourselves. Um, like, mm. yes, Buddhism, we always say about the environment follows the Zenbao, the person who created it. And the person who created each of us creating our own environment. And uh, mm. need to um, take care of our uh, thoughts, speech and action, even though it sometimes gets out of control, mm. we need to get back on track. Mm. And the reason we get back on track is we want a better life. We don't want to continue to sink. Mm. I think it's the use important. And later, very good, speaking of this point, like they have talk about this um, uh, later and why Mr. Zhao, Zhao Shen even bother coming down at all to see him. It's not like he's 100% evil or something he's just lost just put it that way he's just lost lost child there's an even much more simple explanation in the book um i will explain later but i mean we'll talk about it when we get there but it's very sincere let's just put it that way even though he's fake and all that but there are parts that he's very sincere and that part is the one that brings thousands say this guy maybe because sometimes 
Ruth <laughs> Kajal, yeah, yes, like this guy still can be taught. Because sometimes uh, when other people come to him, say not this Mr. Zhang that is a street god, some random dude just come up to him and say, You should not do this or normal people you'll be like, Why are you who are you? You know, you won't listen. There is always someone like for us as well, right? I mean, we might be a spoiler, but this is a second reading, so um since you bring this up, such a good point. Uh, let's not waste the opportunity. Uh, he's been praying to Charles every day. He's like, please help me. Please, please get me out. Oh, of all the fakeness he is, there's that yeah. one spot in his life that is actually real. So this represents the compassion of those well-learned people. They were like, no matter how hard this person is, how un like seemingly unsafe and savable even there's an ounce of kindness like di chang pusa but even mm. there's a little bit of goodness please save him something like that and we'll talk about why we'll also talk about what we read from the book and outside that and how what drives him so so much to change this because all of us do have that wants to change Yes. Understandable. We don't just want to stuck in our current place and not going further. That's the reason why we want to move up to our career, mm -hmm. move up in our life, have a different uh, set of uh, the, the the goal, and then obviously pure That's why we mm. want to pure mm. mm. But uh, what makes him among all the reformer that stands up? Stay tuned mm -hmm. for the next episode. He's been choked by his karma, right? Basically, his karma, right? Like his karma, the karmic okay. repercussion okay. is so heavy. He lost okay. his, dear, the, his only son that he they love so much is gone. His wife is gone, man. His wife's eyes is gone. And the daughter, like brother Kim said, I, it's not even in the book. The autism issues just now expressed in the first comment where um, it's applied anywhere, no matter the story, the character change. The context change, the, the, the spirit, the core of it is persistence. All these um, spirits of persistence, getting getting it down, like get your um, feet on the ground and keep doing it until you make it. And yep. But the thing is that we need to understand the uniqueness of each circumstance. Because when we learn, we want to make it ours. And to make it ours, we need to find that source of strength that, that, that drives us on. And sometimes it doesn't have to be you losing your own children or five children of yours die for that's too extreme and even you want to it won't happen no one wants that because what i'm saying is um this is karmic forced by karmic circumstances maybe in your case is you want something or something you begin for it that was never given to you or when you almost have that it's gone something like that or you have a very loving uh, relationship or something or loving career or something and then suddenly it just steps out or it doesn't work for you anymore or the uh, environment that you have suddenly become hostile and then it pushes you towards the other end so I, I think I can what I can share with everyone is what we can bring out from this is be a lot all the time when this happens don't get saddened by this uh, problem don't get like you might feel sad and disappointed but think about this is when with all this hard work you guys put in this book and movie works think about Leo Fan think about Yu Jin Yu Gong especially um, think about him and then you realize this is maybe my time to change my Ji Yuan or call it Qi Ji my, my, my timing my fuse that ignites that fire to change because right now everything is underneath it's not coming out. It's hard, uh, and and to 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 want to change in a very uh, stable surface is facade, uh, mm -hmm. It's hard. When things are coming out, that means your karma, karmic repercussion comes catching up with you. That's when um, that push is very strong. Say you want something and you can't get it, or you you wish to uh, attain something you can't get it. Or even pure land in sense, you, you, you might have issues with, uh, you know, sickness or something that pushes you forward. You either go to pure land or back to six frames. Something like that. As big as it or small as, as small as wanting something or as big as wanting to go to pure land. Um, opportunities everywhere. Let's bring it that way. Turn this into opportunity. Like, 
because every city is your opportunity. Um, don't don't be don't be saddened. Or sometimes you want something for ten years, still not getting it. Use that as your impulse to change. So 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 test test it on yourself, guys. Test it on yourself. And see how it goes. This is how I I understand it. Um, shall we wrap up? Thank you, guys. Thank you all. This is good. It's been a, it's been a while since we have a good discussion. May the merits and virtues accrue from this world. Adore the Buddha's pure lamp. Repay the four kinds of kindness above. And relieve the sufferings of those in the three paths below. May those who see and hear of this all bring forth the heart of understanding and compassion. And leave the teaching for the rest of this life. Then be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. Amitofo. We also like to specially dedicate this merit to all beings that are affected by the COVID, whether alive or death, um, whether they be uh, better if they are alive or maybe born in the better realm if they're dead. And may also this merit be dedicated to all victims of man made disasters like war or natural disasters of any kind uh, and also this dedicated merit be dedicated to the Venerable Master Jin Kong of the Pure Land School um, and all the Pure Land Associations or the um, Han Institutes may they all prosper may the seeds of his teachings spread wide and far throughout the world may the world peace be realized uh, may we carry on this torch and also may we dedicate to the karmic creditors of his and of everyone's karmic creditors, of our own karmic creditors. May they all be born pure men. Amitofa. Let's chant ten times Amitofa. 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 A mi to fo 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 A mi to Thank you everyone for coming.